Hello, true believers. Welcome to today's episode of the Donald Trump Prison Podcast. As we all know, I'm literally a saint and never did a single bad thing ever. The Democrats, the evil Democrats, hate America and wrongly put me away. But that doesn't stop me from Twitch streaming. As always, please donate in the chat. Ever since going to prison, I've had a lot of time to catch up on books, some amazing books I've wanted to read. I have recently caught up on Twilight. I couldn't believe Bella picked Edward over Jacob. Sleepy Edward Cullen was such a toxic partner. Uh, just like me, Jacob was robbed. It's, uh, it, it's sad. Another book I've been reading is uh, Fundamentals of Electrical Engineering. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself for trying to learn new things. Um, uh, um, I'm so much smarter than crooked Joe Biden. Anyway, I think it'd be bussin' for me to share what I've learned with you all. One of the most important principles of circuit theory is Ohm's law. It's just such a beautiful law. It states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points. You know, the left probably hates Ohm's law. Here, I'm going to show some formulas and diagrams on the stream to help me explain this amazing law. So V is our voltage, I is our current, and R is our resistance. Now, resistance is a pretty nasty thing. It's the measure of an object's opposition to current flow. Truly disgusting. To break it down in a way even the crooked media would understand, resistance represents how easily electrons can flow through a conductor. The higher the resistance, the harder it is for our incredible electrons to flow. The resistance itself is determined by the physical properties of the wire. Now, current is a much prettier thing. Current is the flow of charged particles like electrons or ions through a conductor. It's what you might think of when you think about electricity. So the higher the current, the more cute little particles make it to their destination. And voltage is a bit more mysterious. It goes by many names, such as electric pressure, electric tension, or potential difference. Voltage is really the difference in electric potential between two points. Think of it as the force driving the cute little electrons to flow. Now that we have defined our terms, let's explore the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. The voltage creates the potential difference that allows current to flow. A conductor must connect the two points of potential difference for the current to flow. If the resistance of the conductor is high, it will be harder for our brave little electrons to flow. Let's say we want to maintain a constant current, but the resistance of the conductor increases. We would have to proportionally increase the voltage to maintain the constant current. The relationships between the current, resistance, and voltage are represented by the equations on screen. It's pretty fundamental to all electrical engineering. Not everyone has as big a brain as mine, so it's okay if you don't get it right away. With that, I'm concluding this week's episode of the podcast, and I'm pretty sure there's a prison riot going on. Tune in tomorrow, where I'll be reviewing the prison's cafeteria food for my Yelp account. Have a beautiful day, and God bless.